Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a Thinking Pack episode 19 with Handy Andy. And today we have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to get started before we do any introduction. Because, well, the only introduction I'm going to give is because we're trying to make a Coke oven in order to make some rail, because we need creosote oil to make that. And that requires a lot of materials because a coke oven this is just one brick and as you can see it says multi block 3 by 3 by 3 hollow so basically that means 26 blocks 26 coke oven bricks that we'll need which you'll um if you don't really understand what's going on here you'll see it more clearly when we actually build it but basically in order to make that 26 blocks it's five sand per block and four bricks per block and that works out to about 130 sand and like a lot of bricks i forget the number but four times 26 20 times four is 80 six times four is 24 80 plus 24 is 104 so 104 bricks and 130 sand. So we have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to make a shovel and we'll get on our way. So let's see. Where's. What am I going to make the shovel out of? I'm not going to use iron. I know that for sure because iron is very valuable right now. So let's take. Do we have any wood on us? Yes, we do. We have oak wood planks. So there we go. We'll make some sticks. And with these sticks, we will make a shovel. There we go. And let's take our shovel. And let's start collecting sand. And actually, let's first find out how much sand we have already. No, actually, let's just go right into it. So yeah, so it's kind of raining right now. But yeah, so as I was saying, welcome back to A Thinking Pack episode 19. And in this episode, we... Basically what we have been doing, if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, if you have, I'm going to try to make this somewhat brief, but basically what we've been doing, because one of the primary parameters about the a thinking pack is I wanted it to be as close to regular Minecraft as possible, but with everything automatable. And part of that is wanting to have basically wanting to come up with non-standard intriguing ways to do everything so basically there are a lot of mods that I've seen around which are really great mods but they add obvious ways to do things a lot of obvious ways to do things and that's not really the focus of this mod pack here what we are trying to do is we are trying to come up with unusual ways to do things with as few mods as possible. So we've currently, we have a quarry set up on top of the hill, which you can kind of see the corner of it over there. But yeah, we have that quarry set up on top of the hill there. And a quarry is an object added by the Buildcraft mod. And it basically adds some pretty, like, well, I, hang on, what was I saying? I was saying that the quarry was added by the build, Buildcraft mod in order to do mining and stuff, and it is kind of an obvious way to do it, but I haven't found another good way to do the mining yet, and it's going to take a lot to do all that mining that we need to do. So, basically, at least until we can find another way to do it, then... We're going to be using the quarry, even though it is kind of a standard way to do it. And the next thing that we were doing is we were working on a system to get power to the quarry. And what am I doing? I'm so confused. I didn't mean to put the sand in the furnace. I meant to put the... Where's our clay? We had clay a minute ago. That's cobblestone. That's not clay. Yeah, I'm at the other side of the room right now, in case you're wondering. So, it's kind of hard to tell what is what. 
And that's iron tank. There we go. There's our clay. So let's stick our clay in there, and let's stick in some charcoal. There we go. So we'll let that smelt while we're gathering the rest of our sand. So yeah, so basically what we're doing is we are making a way, because the quarry needs power of some kind, and we're currently using an engine, a fuel engine, which is, I think, a Stirling engine. That's the name of it. So we're currently using a Stirling engine, and what we're doing with that Stirling engine is we're using lava power, because lava is actually, as I demonstrated in a previous video, lava power is actually the most efficient way, that I know of at least, th to use a little fuel and get a lot of power out of it. So that's why we're using lava. But lava, we need to get the lava into the engine in the form of buckets. Buckets of lava. And so that's basically what we're doing is we're working on a way to get the lava into the quarry. And what we were doing is we were doing a programming project to be able to do that. And let's see how much sand we have now. We have 64 plus 29. 64 plus 29. And 64 plus 29 is, let's see, for the tens, we got six, six, we got 60, and we have 20. 60 plus 20 is 80. And it was 64 plus 29. Four plus nine is 13. So now we have 80 plus 13, which is 93. There we go. So we have 93, we need 130, so we better keep going and check on our clay. Let's add some more clay. There we go. So yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. And we were doing it primarily based around the computer craft mod, which adds programming into Minecraft. And that's what we were doing. And I just let lava, uh, water down the stairs. Good thing that wasn't lava, actually, because that would have been horrible. And I just went and jumped down the hole, so now it's going to be hard to get back out. But that's all besides the point. So, anyways, let's get our dirt back there. And let's dig this way. So now this is how our staircase works. So, yeah. So that's what we were doing. And we're doing it primarily based around the computer craft mod. Which, as I was saying, adds programming into Minecraft. But... We're not just using that, we're using other things as well. Like, we used some buildcraft pipes up there. And we're currently now trying to make some items from the railcraft mod. And did I leave sand floating around? That just occurred to me. No, I don't think I did. So yeah, so basically, now we're trying to make some things from the railcraft mod because that's basically the way that I found to do this thing. And, oh, there goes my shovel. So let's find out how much sand we have now. We have 64 plus 53. We have 64 plus 53, and that is close to two stacks. Two stacks is 128. We need 130, so we need more than two stacks. So let's go make another shovel. That would be a very smart idea. So, where are we? Not the furnace. We need the crafting table. There we go. We got our cobblestone. We got our cobblestone shovel. And I think this will be the last shovel that we'll need. Seeing as... Nice, we got some bricks going. Oh, actually, speaking of we got some bricks going, I need to get some more clay in there. Um... That's the wrong furnace. That would be the problem. <laughs> okay, let's get the clay in there. And let's get some more charcoal running. Let's stick another piece of charcoal. Let's stick a bunch more charcoal in there. And I think we'll need more clay. I'm not sure. So let's get some more clay while we're at it. If I can find the clay. But anyways, yeah, so that's what we're currently working on. And we're trying to make a coke oven because we need some of the, st the stuff that comes out of the coke oven, namely the creosote oil. And we need the creosote oil 
in order to make some rail and we need to make the rail in order to make the next contraption basically the one where we get the lava from the lava lakes into buckets because that's with the mods we have that's the only way that I know of at least and if you know of another way that would be great if you could let me know and then that might be cheaper on materials in the future or maybe just another interesting idea but that's the only way I know of with this selection of mods to be able to turn lava from a liquid into a bucket so yeah so that's that's the thing so anyways let's get the extra clay into the furnace there we go let's see how much sand we have now we have one stack we have two stacks that's 128 and one that's 129 we need one more piece of sand which I shall get from right here there's our sand and there we go that is enough sand for the project now we just need our hundred and what five or four or something like that bricks and we have currently 37 so I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna take this stack and I'm gonna split it in half and take the charcoal and split it in half as well and the rain is done that's awfully nice so cook that up in that furnace as well and actually split it in half again and split the charcoal in half again and then take it over to this furnace and stick our clay in and our charcoal in there there we go so now let's get our bricks and let's actually start making this contraption we don't have all the materials yet but we have enough to get started so cook oven bricks and make some of them that's 10 that's good we need 26 and we also need to figure out where to put this coke oven. Now, if I remember correctly, the coke oven doesn't require power. It just simply runs. So we could put it anywhere. So let's put it over... Hello, I'm landing in the lake. Let's put it over here. So, we start building it like that. So what it was saying about that it is a multi-block, 3x3x3... Three by three by three, Basically, that means it's one structure that's made out of multiple blocks. Basically, that's what multi-block means, which is probably kind of obvious. I don't know. But anyways, so what we can do is we can get all of our clay. We can make some more of these. Yoink. Like that. And let's go continue building this up. So three by three by three. So basically, that means three blocks one way three blocks another way and then like three blocks high that's basically what that means so and it says hollow so we don't need to fill in the one in the middle so basically see that's what I'm doing here is one two three blocks over that way one two three blocks over that way and I'm gonna make it three high when we have all the materials that we need for it which should be fairly soon so here we go we got some more of these. Let's go continue building this. And you'll see as soon as I get it built that it will start looking like something. So here we go. Got some more bricks. Got some more bricks. I don't actually know if we have enough bricks because I didn't add it all up. But we shall see. Let's get that. And let's go stick this on top. There we go. Oh, that's all we have. And we still have to wait for more bricks. And more bricks. And more bricks. And actually, we got. We can put some more in there. Let's actually, no. It's almost done. Let's get these bricks, too. And these bricks. Now we have enough to make another two. So let's go ahead and do that. And stick these on top. There we go. And now we need only one, two, three, four, five more. We need five more. And five more. That requires 20 bricks. We have two plus six. We got eight. We need more. 
We need more clay. Let's find our clay. Do we have any more clay in this lake here? So far, I don't see any, unless that's some over there. That could be. This is gravel. That, I think, is clay. Yes, that's clay. So let's go and dig this clay. And clay, 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 and that's probably enough clay. So once we pick all this up and stick it in the furnace, then we'll be well on our way. So the only other thing we need after the track is we actually need a turtle. So I'm going to get this coke oven running and then get our turtle running as well. Or crafted, rather. So where did a clay go? That is iron tank gauge, which we can actually put away because it's of no use to us anymore. So there's her bricks. Where did our clay go? Clay. There's our clay. Let's stick that in there. We're going to need some more fuel. So let's cook up some more wood. And let's stick some charcoal in there. And take this in half. Let's divide it between the furnaces again. Just so that we can get it faster than we otherwise could. There we go. So there we go. And this isn't actually going to burn evenly, so I'm going to take out some just because we want to save as much fuel as possible, especially seeing as we're so close to the early game. And we don't have, basically because we don't have a lot of stuff right now. So I'm going to stick all that in there. So let's get our bricks that are cooking and... This may even be enough bricks to go on. Let's find out. So let's go ahead and build our coke oven. Get our bricks out of the way. There we go. I think these are the last bricks. No. We're one short. Where's our bricks? There we go. And I'm going to take that out, seeing as we don't need to cook any more. So here we go. We got our final brick. So we're going to get our coke oven running. Boom. There we go. See, it changed a little bit. Now we can click on this block, this big structure here, and we've got now a coke oven. So basically all we need to do, and does it work with charcoal? No, it doesn't work with charcoal. Basically what we do is we stick coal in here, and it cooks up, and we get some coal coke on this side and then in here we get creosote oil and then we can stick a bucket in there and get creosote oil out so in order to do that we need coal and do we have any coal that is the question and I do not think we have any coal so let's just go grab one piece of coal that's kind of like, uh, I don't know, galloping music, like you're galloping down a horse, only I'm galloping down the stairs, which is not a safe thing to do in real life, but it's Minecraft, so whatever. Let's see if we can find any coal around this area somewhere. Somewhere, oh, like here? Here's as good a place as any. And one coal will probably do the trick. Actually, let's get a few more. The coke oven does take a very long time, if I remember correctly, unless that's the blast furnace, or maybe it's both. The blast furnace is also from the, the Railcraft mod, and we will probably get to that in the future, because I think it's the blast furnace... It's been a while since I did this, but I think it's the blast furnace that makes steel. And steel is useful for a lot of things. So we'll be making one of those in the future. But I think it is the coke oven that takes a long time. Let's stick our coal in there. And let's see. There we go. So you can see it got the flames just like the regular furnace does. And you can see the progress arrow is going very slowly over, but it will we will wind up with greater than zero millibuckets of creosote oil in there. So it's actually looks like it's almost halfway done already. Do I have a bucket on me? Do I have a bucket? I do not see one. So I think I need to go grab a bucket because 
the creosote oil will not be much good without a bucket. Actually, let's just find out if we can use a bucket to make track. Track. There we go. Let's make the regular track, I think, because that ought to be... Actually, standard rail requires iron. Let's make the wooden track, because that is only wood. Wooden. No, it's not only wood. It requires iron as well. So, wooden tie... Yes, we can use a creosote bucket. Okay, so let's go get our bucket that is up stairs here. And when we get up the stairs, we will be able to find out how our quarry is doing. And it has gone down actually farther than it was before, which is what we expected, so that's good. Let's see if it found any iron yet. No, no iron. Or wait, is there iron? I don't know. Let's see. Cobblestone. This is probably all a bunch of cobblestone. Yep, and that's cobblestone. So there is no iron. So, unless I'm just being blind because of being on the other side of the room. Anyways, I challenge you to go stand at the other side of the room, and or at least far away from your computer, and try to see what you can see, because it's actually quite a fun challenge. So... Anyways, we get our bucket, and we can head downstairs to fill up our bucket. And let's open this. Let's see. There, we got 500. Good thing I got more coal, because we need 1,000 millibuckets to make one bucket. And as soon as that's done, then we'll have 1,000 millibuckets. And then the only other thing we need is the turtle. And we need to actually complete the crafting of this track. And come to think of it, we probably won't have enough iron, which is rather unfortunate. So we might have to wait on this end of the project, actually. Because I didn't actually account for the track requiring iron. That didn't actually occur to me. So that could be a bit of a problem. But anyways, this is almost done. So now, see, we have two coal coke, and we have a thousand millibuckets. So we can stick this bucket in, and we got a creosote bucket. I'm just going to leave it in there for now, because I know where it is. And I'm going to make the turtle. So. Turtle. Back to turtle. Turtle. And we need a chest. Do we already have the wood? Yes, we do. We need a chest. We need a computer, which requires a bunch of stone. Do we have the stone? No, we don't. Let's see. Where are we cooking up stone? Is that stone? That is stone, but that is not enough stone. Let's stick another piece of charcoal in there. There we go. And let's find our stone, if we have any extra stone lying around somewhere. No. There we go. So that's seven. That's probably enough. So let's make our computer. We've done all this before. We got our computer. We got our chest. We already have the chest. I don't need to make another one. So let's just make the turtle. There we go. So now we have the turtle that we need. We have the tank cart that we need. We have our fluid loader that we need. All we need now is the track. And how much iron do we have left? We have five left, actually. So let's see. So, yeah, we have our creosote bucket. Okay, so now it's just a decision as to what exactly are we going to try and do. Now that we have almost all of our materials, how much iron does that track require? That's the other question. And then we should be good to decide where to go first. So this track... Okay, so this track requires standard rail. And standard rail requires track. There's a recipe here that it's not showing us. And that recipe is has to do with the rolling machine. For some reason, the rolling machine recipes don't really show up in Not Enough Items. But, ooh, that requires, that provides light. That's really nice. 
Yeah, I haven't actually bothered to make torches or anything really yet. So maybe we'll get to that sometime in the future. But it's just not really needed. So let's get this quarry running again, seeing as it needs to be running. So let's stick that there. Let's grab two buckets again, do that two bucket trick. Where we stick one bucket in, it grabs the fuel, and we stick the other bucket in. And there we go. And, okay, so... What were we doing? Oh, that yeah, the rolling machine. That's what we were checking. So I was going to check what the recipe was. Iron? Nope, not like that. It's been a long time since I tried to do it. And I don't remember... The recipe. It could be diagonal, but I think... Oh! That is not what we're looking for. That's a rebar. Oh! Rebar. There was a track that required a rebar. Was it this one? Ah! Stone ties require rebars and stone slabs. Perhaps... That requires less iron, I think. Stone rail bed. What can we make with that? That's Okay, let's let's check out this reinforced track. That might require less iron. Let's check that out. So where's our basic reinforced track? Was that on the first page and I'm just being blind? Or like where is it? No, I think this is it. Nope. That's reinforced switch track. Reinforced track. There we go. Reinforced track requires stone rail bed, which requires that rebar thing, which we accidentally discovered. Three iron for four rebars. And four rebars will get us all the stone ties we need to make the stone rail bed, so that's really good. And then the reinforced rail, which I don't actually remember the recipe, but that requires a lot of metals, I'm pretty sure. So we won't be doing that yet. But I think, actually that we need one more iron because I think the recipe to make the rail, the, um, what was it called? The standard rail. I think the recipe was like that and like that and one more down here. I think that's what the recipe was. And why is the quarry stuck? Oh, it's not stuck. It's just being, uh, Little bit glitchy with the arm jiggling back and forth. Any iron yet? I don't see any iron. So, okay, so I think that's what it is. So we'll need one more iron if we want to make the rebar. So let's, what we were doing was checking what we need for wooden track. Wait, we don't actually need... No, wait, sorry, not the rebar. Okay, we don't actually need that stuff. Let's... Okay, wooden track. Back to wooden track. We need wooden rail. Ah. One iron and one wooden tie. Oh! Oh, we can actually do this. We can actually do this. So, wooden track. Wooden rail bed, which is a wooden tie. Requires no iron, just a bunch of wood and some creosote. And wooden rail, which requires one iron for six rail, which is all the rail that we need. So, one iron for six plus wooden ties which don't require any iron. So we got we need one iron and we have enough to make all the things that we could possibly want to make. So that is amazing. And we're done cooking up our coal coke. We have two buckets worth in there plus this bucket that we just got. So the last thing we're going to do this episode is and it looks like this episode has actually been going on for quite a while. But the last thing we're going to do is finish making this track and then once we've made this track then we have all that we need in order to proceed so let's see we need some wood we need some wood we got planks here but that's not going to be much help because it's only two let's go in here and we've got only one here don't we okay so we're going to take slightly longer than anticipated because we need to make an axe so we will need some stone and some sticks. Let's do like that. Get our sticks and get our stone. Stone, 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 st 
stone. There we go. Stone axe. And let's take this stone axe and go chop down some trees somewhere like here. This might work. Let's get this water out of the way because the water is going to be really annoying. And as soon as we finish this track, then that's going to be the end of the episode. So let's see what we got here. Some dirt, some dirt, some dirt. And more dirt. And more dirt. Cobblestone. Let's use cobblestone. Cobblestone, cobblestone. 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 There we go. And a little bit more cobblestone. Cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. And just finish blocking it in just because. There we go. So that's all we need. So now let's just get these trees here to get the wood that we need. And eventually we'll be starting a tree farm, but we don't need that yet. We just need a little bit of wood here and there. Nor do we have time to make a tree farm yet, anyways. So there we go. That's another tree. And one more tree over here. And there we go. That's our trees, and let's just disconnect this, just for, I don't know. I don't know if it actually helps or not for the trees to decay faster or what, and pick up a couple saplings on the way. Okay, so we have our wood, so now we need to take this wood, and let's just turn it all into planks, and let's make some of the slabs that we needed. Let's just do two bunches and find out how much we need. So, we need our wooden rail bed. We need four wooden ties for that and one tie for the rest of this. So, we need five wooden ties. So, let's make five wooden ties. So, we get like that. There we go. That's one wooden tie. And let's go stick the bucket. Let's go grab some creosote out of the oven. And let's make another wooden tie. There we go. That's two. And we need three. And you may be noticing that I'm going to run out of creosote oil. And you are quite correct, if you noticed that. So basically, what we're going to need, that's one coal for half a bucket. And my wire is rubbing on things all over the place. That's one coal for half a bucket. So we need two more buckets. So we need basically four coal. So we need to get four coal. And basically, this project is getting a little bit longer than the end of the episode was supposed to be. But I think it shouldn't take too long to just go down and get four coal. However, it will take quite a while to cook them up. So I think I may do that off camera. This series has been basically everything on camera. But, I don't know, perhaps it's best to do it off-camera for now. Where is the coal? There was coal somewhere in this vicinity. This will do quite nicely. There we go. That's two. We need four. At least. It would pr probably be better if we got more. There's got to be some coal around here. Oh, actually, the vein that we got before, we emptied it. But... There's got to be more coal somewhere around here. Aha! Like here. This will do quite nicely. There, that's all the coal we need. Let's just grab a tiny bit more while we're at it, seeing as our pickaxe is about to break. But anyways, that's that. And so now we can head back upstairs and finish up our project. And these stairs are really nice now that we've got proper stairs in here. It's so fast. But anyways, so 
let's stick this call in, and I think I'm going to wait for this furnace, probably off camera. Where did our call go? That's cobblestone. There's the call. Let's stick the call in there. And that will cook up and be all slow about it and everything. So basically now we have everything we need. Let's make one of these just before we go. And then that's going to be it. So there we go. So now we got six wooden rail. And now through that six wooden rail, we're going to get four wooden ties, make a wooden rail bed, and be able to proceed. And this is going to be a very long time. A very long time. Well, anyways, we have here half a bucket of creosote oil so far. This is going to take a very, very long time to do, time that I don't currently have. So this has been Handy Andy on a thinking pack or in a thinking pack episode in or on. I'm not really sure which applies here, but I guess they both do. So this has been a thinking, uh, this is, this has been Handy Andy in a thinking pack episode 19. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the video and we're going to, as soon as that thing finishes cooking, we are going to continue with our project. And we have basically all the resources we need at that point to set up our fully automatic system down underground. The only part that's not automatic about it is for when or if we need to re... Well, not if. For when we need to relocate, like when we dry up one lava lake and we need to move it over to another, then that's manual. But that is actually quite a long time in between each of those. It should be. So, yeah. So that's a thing that we will be still having to do occasionally when we need to. But until then, it's a fully automatic system down there and it's just sort of like i guess like a, a a robot or whatever an artificial intelligence robot which can run completely autonomously except you have to turn it on <laughs> that's kind of the idea so we just have to when we run out of a lava lake we just have to move over to another lava lake and let it run again that's the idea so it's a fully automatic system we will be having as soon as we get around to doing it down there and then after that we have a system we can do up on the surface. And that will require more iron, though. But I think at that point we can just probably wait for the quarry to get the rest of the iron. And just keep refilling it ourselves or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out when we get there. But anyways. So, yeah. So, that's some of the things we're going to be getting to in the near future. Or, well. Assuming things go according to plan. We'll be getting to that in the near future. But anyways. Yeah. So, this has been Handy Andy. Signing off. And hopefully you enjoyed the video, and see you later. Bye-bye.